I am Sister Sarah Hennessy, the Coordinator of Perpetual Adoration for the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration, and here is a practical guide to adoration. We are made by our very being to adore. Teilhard de Chardin expresses this beautifully, what I cry out for with my whole life and all my earthly passion is a God to adore. God is that mystery. In adoration, we become both very intimate with the mysterious presence of God. At the same time, we're still longing for more. Here are 12 practical ways to practice adoration. Whether you are before the Blessed Sacrament exposed, in a church with a tabernacle, or just in your daily life. Firstly, as Pope Francis says, let Christ gaze on you. He continues by asking, do I let myself be transformed by him? Do I let the Lord who gives himself to me guide me to come out more and more from my little fence, to get out and be not afraid, to give, to share, to love him and others? When Christ gazes on us, we are seen as we really are, and we become more selfing. You are truly not alone during adoration. So imagine Jesus or our dear mother sitting next to you and praying with you. You are in the presence. And in that real presence, God is uniquely present to you. Share with God everything in your heart. Write in a journal if it helps. And then listen. Let your heart be still. Don't worry if nothing comes or if your mind jumps from thought to thought like a mischievous monkey. Just be present to Christ. Just listen. As you are being gazed upon, return the gift and gaze upon Christ. As we use the word exposition, we realize our hearts are exposed. We are vulnerable and available to Christ. When we pray, God is already there first. When we share our joys and sorrows and pray for friends and loved ones, we're not praying to let God know our concerns. God already knows. As the Catechism says, we are praying so that God can change our hearts. The Rosary is always an excellent way to pray anytime and anywhere. Together with Mary, we meditate deeply on Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. We put Jesus at the center of our thoughts. We can read the Bible. Jesus truly is the Word of God. And by opening up the written word, we become closer to him. It can also be helpful to read the scripture of the day or of the upcoming Sunday Mass. We give thanks by our presence, and we can also give thanks with our heart. We remember the good gifts of creation, our families, our ministries, the beauty of this day, and the struggles that we walk through. Adoration can be a time for deep spiritual reading. In our chapel, we have several reflection books on adoration and Franciscan themes, which help us to settle our minds and be available to Christ. Our lives are busy. Christ wants nothing more than for us to put all that aside just for an hour and completely rest in him. Pope Francis has even mentioned that if we fall asleep for a moment, not to worry, we are still resting deeply in Christ. During adoration, wherever we are, we are doing something radical. We are still. We depend more on God than we do ourselves. Adoration reminds us that our time is not our own. In each moment we breathe, we belong to God. We are not usually conscious of this, but the simple practice of adoration is a way of being more present to God so that we are always every moment thine. Christ is truly present to us. Adoration is that constant reminder. Where am I today? Is my heart being expanded? Am I being transformed by the God who loves me? Thank you for sharing time with me. Here on the screen are the ways you can submit a prayer intention to FSPA Around the Clock Prayer. You can reach us on our website, by phone, text, or our street address. We are always happy to receive your personal prayer, and may God bless you in all you do.